So what up? Thank you so much for coming one more day, one more time to one of my videos. I know I annoy you, but uh, you love me and so you're subscribed. And if you're not subscribed, what the f are you waiting for, huh? Do I have to repeat it one more time, motherfucker? <laughs> Let's talk about the Blinding Lights remix from The Weeknd Fit Rosalia. <laughs> to be completely honest, I kinda dislike this song even before hearing it because Rosalia was in it and I don't like her music but I thought to myself wait you're just biased because you don't like her you don't know if you like the song or not so I listened to it and I didn't hate it but I didn't love it and definitely I didn't like it and so I thought okay let's make an honest review a short video about this I don't know how short it will be but I hope it's fast and and it doesn't make you sleep like the last try I made uh, to record this video and it was so boring and I was like okay yeah I, I need to record this shit again so let's talk about music so yeah the song kept the same pop style uh, so cheers for that that same like 80s style or synth wave something like that and the vocal opens with Rosalia uh, first thing I noticed is that the way that she was singing was weird I listened at least three or four times and I couldn't figure out some words until I read the lyrics and you know I'm a native Spanish speaker so yeah something was weird about the way that she was singing I also feel like she was supposed to sing only in Spanish but she used a lot of Spanglish so she kinda missed the point and also just before the weekend started to sing she ends up with bebe baby in Spanish and it misses the rhyme so it feels wrong maybe it is my OCD but well yeah it doesn't feel okay her voice and this is something related to production and recording sounds weird and you can tell something is off I cannot figure out if it has the cue or the reverb or the delay or the master or what was it but it sounds like there was an instrumental without some parts of the vocal and and Rosalia was just added on top of it like I don't know a homemade a really bad homemade recording then we have another part of Rosalia's lyrics and singing around 258 I think that sounds strange first lyrics she says duermo con la luz abierta which is literally I sleep with the lights opened opened I think she meant encendidas lights turned on and it would have even matched the aesthetics of the song that's slightly not to making love or well having sex with somebody you love but lights open what? now about the singing I understand she sings flamenco and uh, you can notice this at around 258 like slightly more and she's really great at singing flamenco she's really good but the type of singing just didn't match the song and this time not only the mastering was off but also the style I don't know that vibrato I, I don't know it just didn't match blinding lights on the right side the harmonies that you can hear with their voices are really nice and they sound really light and powerful at the same time I think the audio file for the weekend was the same on the original track so the EQ and mastering that part was fine and as I said I don't like Rosalia but I have to admit her voice is powerful and she's a great singer overall now let's talk about marketing I'm going to reference some articles that are originally in Spanish. Why? Because you know I'm a native Spanish speaker and so I read news in Spanish mostly and this came really useful for the video. Anyway, all the links, all the references and everything will be in the description as always. So CNN Chile said the following. The polemic remix of Blinding Lights who purse up Rosalia and The Weeknd. The Catalan artist and the Canadian guy premiered their version of the 2019's hit, which is still trending in 2020. Anyway, their followers were left unsatisfied with the result. In social media, opinions have been divided. Some people are happy with the collab, while others say the song is like 2020. Horrible. These are some tweets. Uh, let me find them. The Blinding Lights remix is unnecessary. You can't understand Rosalia and your remix is shit. Did you like the Blinding Lights remix? I love your Rosalia, but the remix is horrible. It feels like when you're making a group project and everybody's making their own part and at the end they all come together and it is like a monster. Blinding Lights remix. Rosalia, I sleep with the lights open. The weekend. The what? Then timeout.es said the following. It shows the music industry squeezer. 
This collab is a remix that could work for the dance floor in the world with working clubs, not like right now when everything's closed down due to COVID, but it looks like a marketing strategy made to make the algorithms explode. After two remixes of the same song, one made by Chromatics, another made by Major Laser, this is just another way to squeeze the juice out of the golden egg goose. Let's remember that The Weeknd and Rosalia as well as their producer Max Martin are part of the showbiz. Finally, La Vanguardia said this. This specific article was so, so long, so this is like a too long didn't read? Like, I don't know. <laughs> Stupefaction in social media because of The Weeknd and Rosalia collab. A kick on the face would have hurt less. Rosalia sings in Spanish with a tone higher than the usual, you see, since something was off, and using filler words like bebe that don't quite rhyme. Bridge and chorus harmonies sound fine anyway. There's also the fact that Spanglish is used to further rhymes more than for the lyrics to make sense. General opinion is that the collab was forced and it made the song sound worse. By the way, there is a phrase that made the fans go nuts. Duermo con la luz abierta. It seems like in Rosalia's native language, Catalan, the word use is correct, but again, she was singing in Spanish. And I also thought to myself, isn't there anyone that checks the lyrics and that they make sense prior to recording? Lastly, some people point out that it may be a marketing maneuver as we approach Super Bowl 55 in 2021. Will Rosalia be one of the artists to get up on stage? alongside the weekend. For now we can just wait some months to know a period of time that could make Rosalia's fans like the song a little bit more than they do right now. And yeah, there were a couple tweets on this article. There's <laughs> somebody that uh, posted this image. Uh, she she opens the light. O open the light, Rosalia. <laughs> Listening to Blinding Lights Remix, Rosalia, Duermo con la Luz Abierta, me. Yeah, the cover, uh, I'm looking at it right now, the cover is really fine and you can see the photo shoot uh, on the video and the lyrics video they uploaded. And Rosalia, she's pretty, she's pretty and as I said, she's a great singer. She matches the level of The Weeknd and The Weeknd matches the level of Rosalia. I don't know, they didn't work well together, their voices, their styles, I don't know. So in conclusion, most of the discomfort I feel with this remix goes towards Rosalia, not The Weeknd, but we have to remember Remember that sometimes these collapses are, as mentioned before, arranged by managers firstly, not artists themselves. They, they can kind of influence their decisions, but in the end they are attached to a contract so they have to follow it and do what, what the manager said mostly. Also, The Weeknd and Rosalia seem very happy working together, let's just hope that if they make another remix, another collaboration, another song together, it works better. Because this one, oh my god, yeah, it was like 2020, it was horrible. So yeah, thank you so much for watching the video. This second attempt is really good. This video is sponsored by Monster. No, of course not, but I wish, I wish it would. Monster, if you're watching this, sponsor me. Happy holidays in general, happy celebrations, because holidays for me are a vacation. Eat condoms, use fruits and vegetables, and have a nice night.